In this video, I'll be going over how to turn on rulers and guides in Kittle for your Kittle projects, an amazing feature we recently just launched. And if you're new to Kittle, this is a great video to watch to see the kind of capabilities. If you need to check it out, the link is down in the description. My name is Drew. Let's go ahead and dive in and check out how it works. So here we are in this Kittle project. I am working on a personal branding presentation for you all. We've gotten a lot of requests to do that. That's not what this video is about, but this is actually going to be super beneficial because I'm not finished with it quite yet. Now, if you didn't check out my recent video about the new UI, you're going to check this out and say, whoa, this panel is locked now. This panel is super small. The layers are on the left. Go check out that previous video. I go over all of the UI changes for within the editor as well as actually in your profile. But for this one, we're specifically focused on the rulers and the guides. And so you can see here, I've already got some things that are like, okay, laid out for my like title slide, a little itinerary. But let's say we get to this one we get to this slide we already have some weird things going on with some of the stuff being messed up here let's get to this slide and let's say we're going to be starting this presentation and we already know that we're pretty much going to be duplicating this like a whole bunch right because we're going to have more than one point right in this i have 20 points for personal branding which is hopefully going to help you in a lot of different ways but what might be really frustrating is if at some point i'm duplicating all of these projects and then something becomes misaligned something moves too far to the left one of these gets adjusted like you just saw now I'm trying to figure out where it's supposed to be aligned compared to this one now I don't know if it's exactly right so that's super super annoying well rulers and guides are gonna help you with that to turn them on there's two ways you can do it the manual way as I like to call it would be going up here into the menu you can go down to the view settings and then you're gonna see this new toggle called ruler and guides when you do that now you can check in the top and the left you have your rulers going across the top and your rulers going down the left side now you can also see right here it says shift R so if I click out of this and on my keyboard doesn't matter what keyboard shift R turns them off shift R turns them back on okay great now we have the rulers on how do we make the guides well to make a guide you're gonna bring your cursor up to the very top and now you're gonna see the icon change right so you can see the cursor right here the cursor then changes to this cursor right here and to make a guide all you have to do is click and drag and now you can see the guide is now dragging with me when I bring it down into the area where I want let's say we start with this by Kittle right here this top you see the top left right there I can let it go and now you can see that I can still click it and move it up or down, right? I'm going to move it to about right here, which is the top of the by right there, because this is in lowercase, as well as the top of the, the Kittle and the L right there. So now I know if I want this to be lined up with the same thing, I can grab this element right here and bring it down to be aligned with this part right here, okay? And so what's really neat about this is that it snaps, right? So if I duplicate this little guy right here, and I want to move him and I want to get closer to this, it'll eventually snap him in place so that it is a little bit easier and you don't have so much more like zooming way, way, way in to try to figure out if it gets when you get close, it's just going to snap. Boom. It's going to snap it right in place, which can happen from pretty much any zoom the closer you get to this guide. Now, you might notice that as I'm hovering over the guide on the artboard, it is solid off the artboard. It is dashed, right? And so that doesn't mean that you can't still align things to a guide that's off the artboard you can certainly drag one down and just leave it here and now the entire guide is off the artboard you can still duplicate one of these and I can get it close boom it still snaps to it so guides still work and to delete a guide you just select it it becomes blue when you select it like anything else delete and it's gone right so just to note the guides that are active on your artboard are solid like that and they're not going to be active off the artboard they're going to be applying to what's on your artboard right here so then we're going to do the same thing and repeat this process and click and drag from the left and then we're going to drag it all the way to the left of this B and so guides will also snap like that. I don't know if you can kind of tell, but I can feel some tension in my mouse. Like it's just, it's snapping to the left side of that B, which coincidentally is also the side of this image, which is not going to be the image I'm using. This was a template, which is also the corner of this hashtag, which is also the exact left justified of this text. And then we can keep doing the same thing. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to keep 
this whole layout right here. Again, this was a template that I chose, but let's say we always want page one to be there. Well, I'm gonna continue to make sure I set up my guide to be exactly where I want it. Now, let's say we also wanna have the exact same size here and we don't want this January 25 to be moving anywhere else. We can also do that by bringing it over here. Now, I think that this one might be a little bit bigger. So we can still go back up into our view and we can still turn on the grid and we can see just about where we are. So let's go to the grid. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller so that it's exactly one box. And then, yeah, so we need to move this guide over to this box and then now we can shift this. Boom, and we're good to go. So let me turn off the guides now, which you can also do with command apostrophe. And now we have a couple of different guides going. So we have the left one for this text. We have the right one for this text. To make things easier, I think I'm just gonna move this page one to the left, delete this so we don't have an extra guide. So that way everything will be flush right. I'm gonna grab another one, bring it down to be at the bottom of page one. And so now we have a nice grid system for us to follow. And then here's the really, really cool part. If I grab this board, let's say I'm happy with this. This, this is the layout I'm going to use. I know I'm going to duplicate it a ton. I can hold the Alt or the Option key, click, and I can drag it to the right. And then did you see what happened? All of the guides stay exactly where they are. It's so, so nice. And it's also nice because you don't have like lines running across the entirety of the artboard either. They're just on this artboard specifically. So no matter where I duplicate it, like I can just drag it anywhere I want. Like all of these guides have been duplicated as well. And if I don't want them at any point, like if they're distracting, again, shift R, turn them off, shift R, turn them back on. And so now I can go on with my project. This can become two, and then I can change my text here. I can have my different slides on this right here. I can change this to say, page two, click into that, boom, page two, and then maybe this becomes page three. And so you see what I mean. You can make sure everything is perfectly lined up. And then, yeah, whenever you're feeling good and ready to go, you just have to take shift R off and boom, or you can just keep it on. doesn't really matter. And that's how guides and rulers work. I'm extremely excited for this one because this will help you set up so many different kinds of projects, whether you're doing a presentation like this, which is going to be super helpful, whether you're creating like a brand guideline document, also super helpful for making sure things are lined up. Maybe you're creating digital resources or digital packs or books or something like that or writing a novel. This is also perfect for all of that, setting up your rulers and your guides to make sure everything snaps into place where you want it. And things that don't need to snap into place, obviously you can just move them and they don't have to be there, but you can set up as many guides as you want and they will duplicate anywhere at any time, any place. So let me know what you think of rulers and guides down in the comments. Is it confusing? Did it make sense? Did it work for you? Let me know what you think down in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe to the Kittle YouTube channel. We just recently passed 100,000 subscribers subscribers. Thank you all so much for your support and for using Kittle. It means a ton to us. We were built by designers for designers. We understand the problems and the issues that you face. We want to give you tools to do your job better, rulers and guides being one of them. Don't forget to check out that previous UI video. Make sure you check out the following videos where we're going through all of the new feature releases as well as the things to come and let us know what you think in the comments. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Bye.